Hey, how's it going everyone? Uh, and welcome to the channel. Uh, today we're going to be looking at this realistic, I think it's a, a Chrono Set 237. It's an AM FM with cassette. Uh, no clock on this, right? Minute, hour, no, looks like, yep, yeah, it's an alarm clock as well. Uh, the only thing I was told about this is it doesn't work. And this is another piece that has been uh, donated to the channel by TC the Pack Rat. If you haven't checked out his channel, go check out his channel as well. You'll enjoy uh, what he does too. He does a lot of auction finds and 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 goofing around. <laughs> we'll just leave it at that. Uh, this has this beautiful faux pas wood grain finish on it. It is some sort of pressed sawdust type crap with a cardboard back and two speakers, one on either end. So we're up, we're up in the game here and we have stereo. Uh, let's see. Battery backup circuit, uh, that's for your clock. 9 volt goes in here, in that little trap door. Uh, let's see, we have power, AC 120, FM, AM, and model number 12-1543. Realistic is Radio Shack. So all this stuff came from Radio Shack, anything realistic. Realistic. Uh, Tandy Corporation, should say, not Radio Shack, but it comes from Tandy Corporation, which is Radio Shack. Uh, let's see what else can we... Oh, this has selector. You have AM, FM, FM stereo tape, and auxiliary. So there you see, you can even hook your turntable up to this, and you'll have this nice, massive stereo sound coming from either side and I'm sure the bass is just outstanding with this little unit basically this is just a great little bedroom style or kitchen style radio with a clock uh, you can have it in your sitting room uh, if anybody remembers those the sitting room or the den or or what have you, or in your basement, or out in your garage, or your workshop. You can listen to a cassette, and you still got the radio, and you have a clock. So you'll never be late for dinner. Because you can set the alarm so it goes off at whatever time you have to eat every day. You can set the alarm, and it'll go off and you'll know. It's time to eat! But... Uh, we are going to plug this in and see exactly what it is doing. Now I see the clock is on. That's better. Turn the dimmer off. Uh, we have AM. Nothing. FM. Nothing. FM stereo. How about if we turn the power on? Bet you that would work. That worked even better. But we have... We have a hum out of it. And that's about it. Uh, let's see. Oh, now that's interesting. If you open the... And it's still on... That's on tape. This thing's all goofy. when you switch it to tape, uh, you shouldn't have anything coming out of the... 
the speakers. It should be same with auxiliary. Okay. Mm, one of them hard style. It just flips it open and throws the tape right out at you. Now what do we got? Oh, here's some here's something we'll see if it even uh, see if it even tries to play. Nope, it's doing absolutely now it starts and stops. Well, let's try the other side, see if I had it in. No, oh, there she no. Starts and stops. Start, stop. Uh, 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 uh. Barely trying to move, so you know what that means. That's probably a belt. And we gotta figure out why. Why that's doing that. Okay. Not good anyway. So I'm going to unplug it and we're going to see if we can't get this opened up without harming this beautiful finish on this. In fact, we will protect it with a nice towel. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I like these I like these little things. These are These are great little items that were made at the time. And when we get it going, somebody can enjoy it again in their study, stereo, or study, kitchen, bedroom, since it has a nice digital clock on it. I think it'll make a nice little unit to have. Yep, it's wood cutting season still. We're into December and okay. what we got in that? Looks like a big booger. Looks like they put a dot of hot glue on the one screw here. So yeah, they would know if somebody was in it. be their idea of a warranty sticker. Hmm. Kinda neat. You wanna see? Now what I would like to do ooh. I see something that we need to get a hold of. Come on, I'm losing my light. Oop! Oh. I just shot it back in. Let's see if I can get it to... <laughs> well, that, that could be a problem. That's our AM antenna. Just dropped out of there. 
I think this thing has been dropped. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see if we can... I'd like to pull it out of its protective shell. So we can get a good look at everything. And hopefully I'll find what I was trying to get out of there. You see two of the rubber feet are gone. Looks like they just kind of deteriorated and busted off. Transformer. That'll be our power supply. Now which way does this... Now that face is not going to come off of there because it's screwed down in. No, I got it. No, nope, that one foot. Looks like that one foot has to come off. This one, what's left of this one. Now, will you come out of there? You want to come out and visit? Looks like maybe the other front one, too. Okay, now you're ready to come out. And are you ready to come out and visit with the world? Something attached at the top? Sure acts like it. Seems loose, but it acts like it's attached at the top. Or is it just stuck? Hmm. That's. Wish that would. You could unplug. <laughs> well, let's see what could be. I don't see anything. Bottom's loose, but it just acts like like it's got a screw or something in the top. Are you ready to come out and visit? It's 
right there. And right there is nothing. give you enough rope for the speakers which is good okay pardon me for a minute while I warm up my hands okay where should we start let's let's see if we can take it take a look at the bottom side of this board first and take a look at everything you see I don't see anything jumping out at me let's see these are here's our switches right here these two those are the two switches that run all the functions let's Okay, and this has, oops, sorry about that, kick you a little bit more. This has the switch that switches off the radio and everything and goes to the tape deck when you flip the, it should be, yeah, it's that one. But you have to have a tape in it in order for it to. Let's, let's put a tape in it. Yeah, you try and do it upside down. And, oh no, that's, that should be record, right? Yeah, the next one is play. So when you push play and record, this should move over like that and switch to record mode. That'll be the record switch. Okay. screw that come out or did I just drag that up uh, ha, there it is this is what I was trying to pull off of that magnet was that little itty bitty spring now I wonder where that came from be kind of hard for uh, a spring to just end up in a radio right 
Okay, here. These are our, like I said, these are the two, sw two switches that switch everything around. All of our caps. I don't see any of them puking. I think all of our caps are, you know, okay for now. At some point, yeah, they would, they need to be all changed. So it's, but it's not switching from like AM, FM, and then when you go to tape, the radio and everything should shut off and switch over to the tape deck. Now, what I'm thinking is the same on all of these is dirty, dirty switches. And that's going to be fun cleaning those ones. I think these ones are actually slide switches. That's why they're so long. That, you know, they start up here and run all the way back. When you turn the, the knob, it slides a little slider all the way down on the bottom with contacts on it and it slides out like so changing you know changing contacts switching from one set to another and contacting with whatever device that you're you're adding or whatever or selecting I should say so those they should be contacts all the way down here along the bottom of these switches. And what I can do, and what we're gonna do, and what should be done, <laughs> is we are going to fill them up with contact cleaner. run them back and forth. We're kind of on an angle so it's all going to be running towards the, the back of the switch. Let's see if we can get this leveled out just a little bit so when we spray it down in there it'll move back and forth. won't hurt circuit boards or anything. It just takes a bit to dry out. That's why after I clean these I always shut down and let everything kind of dry out a little bit. we can get our selectors to work then we can concentrate on our tape deck and that little spring man who knows where the heck that came from like I said I have a hard time believing that it these Stop standing so close. I keep kicking you. You know, I know you want to see what I'm doing. But, come on. Your feet aren't that big.
Okay, now I'm going to do a little bit more of that. And then I'm going to let it sit. And let my contact cleaner kind of evaporate up out of there. And then, and then we'll try it out. And hopefully we got her working. Uh, let me get that. Away. There we go. Just a lot more of that. Remember I said uh, I got that little spring out of here, that little guy. Um, then this screw fell out of inside. I thought maybe I picked it up from uh, one of the ones that I had that screws on the back, but no. And this little white piece fell out, if I can get a hold of it. And I thought it was a piece of the uh, AM antenna, which I'm really not going to worry a whole heck of a lot about. But uh, after I got this cleaned up, I got to looking at this little, it's a little lever, and you can see inside, well, it was a little lever, there it is. It fits on to something, and this either screws on to something, or that screw, see, that, that screw is too big for there, but the spring may be part of it. So that's something that we're going to have to see if we can't figure out where it fell off of and came off of. You know, it's got a distinct pattern on the on that lever, so we should be able to pinpoint it unless it's buried, you know, down into somewhere. But I did get this all cleaned up. You see me blow it off with the with compressed air. And like to get it to at least move from one to the other like it should. Hmm. I wonder. Oh well, we'll look at that here in a little bit. Let's see if we got this squared away first before we start looking into where that lever goes. Okay, our clock is on. Turn on the power. That's AM. There's FM. Mama, how you been, girl? Definitely got to clean those two clean the volume pot. Okay, now. And now it shuts off when you go to tape. I was 
And auxiliary, we can hook up our turntable. Okay, so that was just dirty, dirty switches. Which, I don't mind dirty switches. Now, oh man, I wish I could, I suppose I could unsolder the speakers. Well, maybe we won't have to. Maybe there is enough. After I got that tape off of there. And some glue. There we go. Now, can you see that? I hope. Maybe. Now, we know we need a belt. That that's a gimme. And it's still puzzling me where that goes. And if it's buried behind, I don't know as if we're going to be able to find it. And it's still got some. I don't know. I'm not going to worry about that because I'm going to have more on it. More on? More on. Uh, tell you what. Let's. Can we get the deck completely up out of here? Or are we going to have to try and work on it right there? What's that arm there? That arm has a screw through it. I'm looking at this bracket here. If we can get rid of this bracket here, we can get to our belt. Mm -hmm. So there's one screw. Come on. Underneath, trust me, it's on the circuit board. I'm not going to try and flip this all over the place. Driver's too 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 big. We need my little one. We need this guy. Put him right over there. And we'll put that bracket right over with it. Now, can we get can get the belt off of there, there? Now, how are we gonna get to the one? Yeah, we can. all out by itself okay you can see we can let's see where's my little butt pinchers take him off this will be fun to put on and there's our belt 
like I said, that's going to be fun to put on. That all feels really nice. Hmm. I <laughs> bugging me where that. that little lever goes and what does it control wonder if it controls the alarm when you put it in the alarm position and it trip it'll trip a, a lever to turn the alarm on won't know that until we we get some more of this work and get our belt changed and then we can test that theory because at the moment that's all it is is just a theory okay I picked this out a good belt and uh, I went ahead and cleaned the volume control I uh, haven't tried it yet but I did Go ahead and clean it. Now, let me see if I can get all the way through here. Grab a hold of that. Tweezers aren't aren't strong enough to pull that. <coughs> let me let me get a hook. can't get a hold of it with my fingers haze there's probably an easier way but this is the only way I can see. Almost got it. There we go. Okay. Now do we need to put that bracket on to test? Yeah, shit. <sighs> yeah, I think we better. Because it's grounded. It has a, a ground on it.
Okay, at least the, the ground wire is hooked up anyway. Now let's get our power, power brick up there. Let's get her plugged in. Clock's on, that's off. Tape. No, no sound. It's in there, but it's really low. Wonder if that little lever is what turns on the amp. You would think it would just be wires. Let's rewind a little bit. Make sure we're not at the end of a blank. Okay, turn it on, but it's not. Let's see which one's there. Is play. I don't believe it's the head that's dirty. We would get something out of it. I'm thinking it has something to do with that little white lever. Yeah, because I, I can hear it. it. It's in there. think it's in the switch. I think when you you push play I'll bet you there's a little switch in there that that little that that lever is supposed to turn on an amp, turn on the amp. So it's getting more interesting anyway. Which one's play? Okay, that's Now we can we can turn this off and unplug it because we're just going to be looking for something mechanical. Okay, the second one. underneath too. Where is it that little micro switch? Right right here. That turns on the amp. Let's let's clean that little it's a leaf switch is what it is. Uh, I need some very light sandpaper. 
Let me round up some very light sandpaper. All right, I got a little piece of 400. And I'm just gonna clean that up a little bit. Watch where you stick your fingers. Let's see, we're on. on. Just trying everything before we tear into that. Okay, that turns the motor on. Well, it answers that. Unplug it again. Play. Here's play moving right. Okay, play is moving this guy here. There's nothing along here. But it goes under the flywheel and comes out the other side. Now, if I don't know if there's anything underneath of it or not. Let me see if I can see under that I'd rather it just be under that we can get back at that pretty easy. hard I can't see I think that just raises the the heads nothing up through here Nothing out there on that end. Let's flip it over. See if we can see anything on the underside. And that just it's just gonna raise the head. Now does the amp come on automatically when you when you put it on tape or does the amp turn on when you push play
It's got to trip something. Hmm. Or is it this? Now remember we had that problem before on one. Where it was stuck in record and wouldn't play. But this one is playing. Everything okay? Yeah. Nothing back there is gonna spark or anything. Let's see, it's on and this is play. Let's record. <laughs> I just screwed up my tape. Okay, nothing. Horse wiring harness that comes up from the heads. It's that one, that's right. Have those, those three come up and go down through. So the switch would have to be on either side, on the other side, because the, the wires from the head, right here, these three, there's three wires in each, all go through the board. Mm -hmm. So let's... Flip that back around. I'll come up through here, here, and there's our speakers. There and there, left and right. Okay, I'm going to have to study this a little bit more and see if I can figure it out. If not, this, this video is going to be forever while I sit here and, and try and figure this out. Alright, it's the next morning and I've been... I uh, haven't been video in this, but I, you know, just been kind of messing around, checking a few things. And now... Uh, the cassette deck is working. And let me unplug. I'll show you what I did. And then it started working.
and what I did here, which is kind of strange, but you know, hey, it worked. These are uh, the blue, or not the blue, but the brown and the gray wires. Let me let me get you in here a little bit. Okay, the this gray and brown set of wires come off of our head off of the heads on the cassette player what I did was I turned on the cassette player and I took my little little powered speaker and hooked up test leads to it turned it on and I wanted to probe and see if I was getting anything out of the out of these two out of the two heads well, I wasn't getting anything over here, and the brown wire, uh, I touched, when I touched the white wire and grounded it, I got a clicking noise, uh, like it was trying to produce something. So I shut it off, and then turned it back on, and lo and behold, it was working. So I don't know if... Uh, you know, I've never run into anything like that, and I don't know, maybe somebody somebody out there has too, that maybe it was magnetized, and when I hooked up the speaker, it demagnetized it and started working. Not sure. But now it works, and that, that's all I did. You know, I just come out, and I didn't want to make this video two hours long, screwing around with a little um, portable or not portable, but a little cassette deck and AM FM radio with clock for her in the house. An old one. So, that's what happened and that's what it did. I still never found out what that little white lever goes to. It may, it may go to some of the recording side of it or something like that. That little screw, I did figure out where that little screw came from. It came off of the AM antenna and like I said I'm not worried about the AM antenna on this thing I really uh, don't never listen to AM uh, this one I will keep for myself or I may may take it down and sell it you know and tell them that hey the AM doesn't work you know but the FM and the cassette deck does work on, on it so that's what I come up with which is kind of strange yeah, I did unplug it but hey stranger things have happened so now I need to get this thing all put back I need to clean the head clean the heads pinch roller and everything and oil the do a little dot of oil here and there on the cassette deck uh, it seems like it's running a little sluggish and it could be because it's just cold out here or it could be because I need to oil up a few spots and get some stuff cleaned up so I'll go ahead and do that you've seen me do that before clean the heads and, and you know pinch roller and all that <clears throat> so I don't think I have to bore you with that again so I'll get it oiled and cleaned up and then we'll get her put back together
All right, we got her all all fixed up. Uh, she, I'll wipe it down. No big deal. Uh, just the top needs cleaned off. Um, I didn't. The, as you seen when I was putting that back together, one of the the two feet that were left on it, one of them shattered. This one's all cracked up. Uh, I looked and I had I had three of these uh, gray ones, of course, and I had two two black ones. So I put tall ones in the front. So it kind of kind of sets up a little bit. But hey, that that works for me. And let's see, where do we on? And we have radio, and you know we don't have FM because the antenna broke out of it, and I'm not about to screw with that thing. We don't don't need AM right at the moment. Tape. You can see tape decks working. Uh, to me, it seems a little slow. The tape's running. It seems like it's running a little slow. Uh, I'm going to let it play and play and play. I'm um, hoping that it's just, you know, stiff grease down in there that I couldn't get at. And it, it starts uh, playing like it should. If it doesn't, I'm uh, probably going to have to replace some caps in this to get the voltage back to the, the motor that's actually driving the that actually drives the tape deck. Uh, clock works. Uh, I got it set. That's the time it is right now. Counter works. Uh, I didn't put a uh, battery in it. This has the battery back up for your clock. And it takes a, a 9 volt. I don't have a 9 volt lying around to throw in it. But she's a worker. She works. And that was the whole goal of getting it fixed or trying to fix it and see if we can get it to, to play music again. So I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. I enjoy working on these retro pieces of uh, stereo equipment and clocks and radios and all that type of stuff. And if you liked the video, hit the like button. And if you're new here, consider subscribing, and I'll bring you more retro, I guess. Uh, that's what I seem to be running into more and more of, is just retro pieces of stereo equipment and all that, and uh, my retro gaming, and some arcade stuff. So I hope to see you on the next one. Until then. See ya.